Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the masterclass lesson two. I am your host, Chanda Sampa, also known as Shizo. Lesson two is called um, Numbers. Salutations, welcome to everybody in the class. Everybody is welcome. We only have um, two simple rules in our class. Rule number one, please have, this is a master class, so please have your bachelor's in common sense, rule number one. Rule number two, please have your bachelor's in discernment. Uh, another disclaimer is that uh, there's going to be a lot of information in this class that might ruffle a few feathers. Uh, if you are afraid, this may not be the content for you, but I don't mean to scare you off. Um, if you get lighthearted as the show goes along. So basically, lesson two is called numbers. Reason why I call it numbers was I've had uh, a personal experience with numbers. I was never good at math in school because I had a negative attitude. I thought I was being forced, you know, even if, even if they show me the working and how to get eggs, somehow I was just like, no, it's hard. I didn't even do well like, on my final exam and everything. But then, all of a sudden, I, I used to have those moments where I would see like uh, double digits on the watch, 11, 11, 13, 13, whatever it might be. I always used to see those things on the watch. So I was like, what does this mean? Why is it that every time I look at a watch or a clock, it's double digits? Anyway, I ignored that. Then later on in life, because um, I used to go to church, believe it or not, um, <laughs> when I used to go to church, I noticed or I, I, was, I just started paying attention to the numbers. So the first number that got my attention was the number three. So obviously we have the Holy Trinity, right? Then we have uh, Jesus was 33 years old when he was crucified. Oh, and guess what? He was crucified in 33 AD. And there were three other men, that uh, two others crucified with him, making that three. And then he died and rose on the third day. So like, hmm. Could this be a coincidence or why, why is it that these numbers keep reappearing, you know? So curiosity got the best of me. Then I think now this was the year 2016. I decided to change my phone number because I was embarking like on a new, a new life. So I got a new phone number. In that same year, I met uh, a friend uh, called Lawrence Chalo. He's from Mufrila, my hometown. So when I met Lawrence Chalo, we used to exchange books. So he gave me a book one day in title, The Secret Language of the Name. So basically, this book is about one is A, two is B, three is C. Then you add your name, depending on what letters are in your name. Then if you add whatever digit you get, keep adding that number until you get a single digit number. So my, my, mine was a nine. Then depending on what type of personality you are, it categorizes you from one to nine. So after I started seeing those numbers now, it just blew out of proportion now. I started noticing numbers all over the place. So hence the lesson being called numbers. So I would like to start by breaking down some numbers that I noticed in uh, recent events. The first being the death of the queen. So obviously I'm from a country called Zambia. The queen colonized that. By the way, if do you know what the word colonized means? Because um, I remember when I was in grade one, that was like a question in social studies. Who colonized Zambia? And you put, oh, teacher me, teacher me. <laughs> They're like, you, They're like, it was the British. Then now, when I grew up, I found out what the word colonized means. You should look it up. But it means um, to infiltrate and take over a country and exploit it economically. That's what colonization means. But we're being taught to be proud. Yay, colonized by the British. Yeah, so um, the queen, AKA WWW, three W's. We get rich on the West. <laughs> <laughs> she, so here the thread is 26. That's the queen's number that I personally noticed. So the queen's full name is uh, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary. She was born on the 21st of April, 1926. If we had to break that down in numbers, 21st, that's 21. Then April, April is the fourth month, so four. And then 1926, if you break that down, in, if you're writing the date in numeral, it will be 21, four, uh, 26. So she was born in 26, aka 1926, right? She became queen on the 6th of February. And that date is also significant to me because that's my mom's memorial. 
so it caught my attention yeah so just to recap right quick in case i lost you there for a minute she was born on the 21st of april 1926 and she became the queen on the 16th of february uh, 1952 so let's do some simple math so february is the second month on the 16th second 26th there so some simple math if she was born in 1921 how old was she in 1952 you guessed it 26 then her coronation was in june her coronation was on 2nd june 1952 so let's translate that into numbers june is the 60th month on the second two so 26 another 26 appeared so that's what i noticed with the queen and the 26 so thereafter now um there was a, a, around the time two days before the queen died on the 6th of september 2022 uh, a new prime minister was chosen by the queen and her name is elizabeth truss or liz truss but when I, I started researching liz truss guess what i found elizabeth or liz truss is actually not her name her first name is mary her first name is Mary and Elizabeth is a middle name. So yeah, Mr. Producer, you put an article here yeah. of how she hated her name and she preferred to be called Mary. Yeah. So, but she's, how does this all connect to the Queen? The Queen is the one who chooses the Prime Minister. Or since I know people out there still believe in voting, let's just say the people vote, then the Queen approves. So the Queen approved Liz Truss. So remember, why did I tell you the Queen's full name is? Her name is Elizabeth Alexandra Mary. And who's the Prime Minister that she swore in two days before she died on the 6th? Mary Elizabeth Truss. So it's like the names have, have, have been swapped. One's name is Elizabeth, the one, other one's name is Mary. Yeah, so they met on the 6th of September 2022. So when they met, there was a famous photo they took that resembles that of a painting of Michelangelo, the one called Creation of Adam, where I'm sure you've seen it's sort of like God and Adam is naked and then all the, the hands. Yeah, yeah, the fingers are almost yeah, touching. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. please, producer, insert the picture yeah. here where there's the one for Michelangelo, mm -hmm. which is in the Sistine Chapel, yeah. and then you also put the image of uh, Liz, Truss. Liz Truss and the Queen. Right. You see? So then there's more Liz Truss was born on the 26th of July as well. Can you imagine that? Would you believe that? And then, so they met on the 6th, then two days later on the 8th, the Queen died. So, another 26th there. So, um, after all this, I was like, hmm, there's something more to these numbers. Let me continue paying attention. Um, now that we've reached this point, I would just like to, to throw in a quote for people who are like, but she's a wife. Why can't you just stick to podcasting and talking about music? <laughs> why, why do you have to subject yourself to this? They'll kill you, you know, what people say. <laughs> so anyway, here's a quote for you. I'll be giving you a quote every few minutes just to redirect the point I'm trying to make, the energy that we're trying to carry through this. You have to be fearless. So it says, Fortunately, some are born with spiritual immune systems that sooner or later give rejection to the illusionary worldview grafted upon them from birth through social conditions. They begin sensing that something is amiss and start looking for answers. Inner knowledge and anomalous outer experiences show them the side of reality others are oblivious to, and so begins their journey of awakening. Each step of the journey is made by following the heart instead of following the crowd by choosing knowledge over the veil of ignorance. Henry Bergson said that. Yeah, so here we are, we're, 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 we're still on numbers. So keep in mind, numbers have said, rewind it if you have to. So then, um, oh, by the way, we're creating a new language on this channel because you know these YouTube censorships and the powers that be don't want us to say certain things, the algorithm is watching us. So here's the key. So the phrase hidden hand, right? It has two words in it. Take the first letter of each word, right? You see what that makes? <laughs> yeah, so that person won't say his name, but on this show, for this episode and moving forward, we'll call him Hermes, because the symbol of Hermes is H. 
So but when I say Hermes, I'm talking about hidden hand, take the first letter of Both Yes, that guy. So that guy did an interview with BBC. Uh, it's about three minutes long. He posted it on his Twitter account. So for me, when I saw that interview, what stood out for me in the one minute clip, there were three numbers, following numbers. So that guy mentioned three numbers. So the numbers he mentioned, so the first one was he said, he put me behind bars 15 times, talking about the previous guy. The previous guy locked up Hermes 15 times. So take that with that number 15. <laughs> then he also talked about Zambia is in 19 billion dollars in debt. So 15, 19. Then the other one he said, the IMF have given him 1.3 billion. That's how much he, he borrowed, whatever. So then, in numerology as well, something I may have neglected to mention. 31 and 13 are the same. Why? You might ask. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. Also in numerology, points don't matter. 1.3 is the same as 13. Yeah, so those are the numbers in mentioned. So when I began to do my research, guess what I found? The same day that Hermes was released from prison, was the same day he became president, exact same day, 16th August. Yeah, only the, uh, he was released on 16th August 2017, and he became president on 16th August 21, uh, 21. Yeah, so on the exact same day, so I'm like, hmm, there's something here. So then, I think it was two weeks after he did the interview, um, I think the interview was conducted in late September, um, what do we know? Because now we've gone to the home, we brought it home. So after he did that interview, I started looking out for any of those numbers in the media. Because um, frankly speaking, and I digress, for me, this is more than content creation. This is a calling for me. Because a lot of the things that I've been through, and, uh, I can't explain them. This information just comes to me. I always used to ask, why me, why me? But I stopped questioning now. I just, I just, I'm just a vessel, a conduit, or a channel through which the African ancestors communicate to their people. So this is from them to you, humbly and respectfully. So yeah, after he did that interview, you remember there were girls uh, who were kidnapped, or rather, in the beginning, it was one girl who was kidnapped. Her name was Pamela. Yeah, Mobile yeah, Money, yeah, yeah. money Agent. So then, guess what, guys? Remember 15, 19, 1.3 or 13, yeah. So then on the 3rd of October, news bulletin, girls have been rescued. The nation thought it was one, but actually it was 13 girls. So 13 girls rescued, like, hmm, 13, okay. Then it was on the 3rd of October. Let's put the numbers again. October is the 10th month, 3, 10, 13. Then when did Pamela go missing? You guessed it, April 13th. <laughs> That's why she went missing. So then, same day, 3rd October. Wow, on the other hand, the girls have been rescued. On the other hand, what do we know? Something big in the music industry. Sampa the Great. Her song with Sheffy is in the trailer of Black Panther. When did the trailer come out? You guessed it. 3rd October, 310, same day that the girls were discovered is the same day that Sampa the Great dropped the trailer. No, but she's like, it could be a coincidence. Just to add salt into the wound, Chefi dropped his album on Friday the 13th. So we see that he's in the loop now. <laughs> whatever, take from that whatever you will. <laughs> so the girls are found, yes. 13, 310, yes, we've heard what's the significance of the number 13. I know many of you are wondering. So basically, I also had to find out because I'm like, why does this number keep showing up everywhere? So now, 13, right? How many disciples did Jesus have? 12. So him plus the disciples makes what? 13. The Virgin Mary, when there's that picture of her and she's surrounded by like stars. How many stars are those? 12 plus half, 13. So I'll put up some information on why the number 13 is relevant. Things like the moon um, moves an average of 13 degrees a day, things like that. 
the way these people use this number it's like um numbers are like fire or like water water can quench your thirst but it can also drown you fire can keep you warm but can also burn you so that's what it is with energy and frequency and numbers this is occult or esoteric knowledge and that doesn't mean evil it just means hidden it's knowledge that the elite of this world have been holding because they don't want you to know who you truly are they are in a position of power that's why they hold this knowledge so i'm bringing this information to you because your ancestors sent me after i started noticing that number i started seeing random articles now in zambia with the same amount popping up global fund donates 41 vehicles worth 1.3 billion to ministry of health 13 zambians uh, 13, uh, 13 zambians arrested so i'm like okay whatever they didn't have the number so the other two numbers you mentioned was 19 and 15 right so then 19 how is 19 significant i don't even have to tell you so i won't say that word bang to 19 so we're making a key so that thing that they were coercing or forcing people to take remember that thing we're going to call it the, the cupcake or the, the jabbing job I'm just rubbing my shoulders, you do. But yeah, <laughs> the jumping tone or the cupcakes. Yeah, the, 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 uh, I'm sure you know what I mean. Dash 19, right? So remember, he said he said that uh, Zambia owes 19 billion. But guess what? The queen was buried on the 19. But oh, why is this significant? Hermes has been pictured with the king. So he's in the loop as well. I also saw it today. He was. Uh, speaking at the council of foreign relations a month ago it was the african summit if you don't know what the council of foreign relations is i'll tell you in a future episode but this is just basically a multinational organization that was created to foster cooperation between countries uh, across the i think the northern atlantic or whatever they call it but the founders are jimmy carter brzezinski and david rockefeller yeah so if you know you know yeah. that's where Hermes was speaking you're doing a keynote speech there yeah so other people other scholars have uh, asserted that the council of foreign, foreign relations is basically a think tank or a precursor to the new world order or a one world government which is eminent so i digress so remember the queen of Biden in 19 this guy Hermes, he's with uh, Hassan, the king now, 19. Hmm. Then, more numbers and more so-called uh, coincidences. But before I go further, a cult. The illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read or write, but those who cannot unlearn the many lies that they have been conditioned to believe and seek out, and seek out the hidden knowledge that they have been conditioned to reject. I want to show you the, I've told you about 19, the Queen of the 19, Jabba Woki. So now, let's see what the number 15 means. 15 means calm. And if you're a Zambian, and if you don't see, remember, you have to have your bachelor's in discernment. This is what the number 15 means. Number 15 represents the magician. 15 is a number of deep esoteric significance. The alchemy vibration through which all magic is manifested. It's extremely lucky and carries the essence of enchantment with it. 15 is associated with good talkers, eloquence of speech, and the gift of music, art, and the drama. It bestows upon the person or entity represented by it a dramatic temperament and strong personal magnetism, a curiously compelling charisma. The 15 vibration is especially fortunate for obtaining money, gifts, and favors from others because its powerful appeal to the altruistic nature of people. However, there are no roses without thorns, and the ancients warned that 15 rose the lower levels of occultism when it is associated with the single number 4 or 8. Such people will use every art of magic, even black magic, hypnosis, and mental suggestion to carry out their purpose. Or, or the contrary is true. The 4 or 8 person will become the victim of others using the same methods. Other than this warning, the number 15 is extremely fortunate. If you were born on the 15th day of any month and the compound number of your name is also 15, you are blessed with the ability to bring great happiness to others and to shine much light into the darkness. 
assuming you don't use this magic or unfortunate vibration for selfish purposes. So within the first paragraph, it's clear that some of the attributes being described by the number 15 are the same attributes that Hermes possesses. Good talker, fortunate with money. Yeah. yeah. So then that, that, that was the uh, significance of the number 15. And I'll be going back and forth, going back and forth because my mind is all over the place. This is the first time. Um, so just to show you that this is not a game, that I, my claim or my assertion is that Hermes is in the loop because after he did that interview saying that we had received 1.3 billion, um, I saw the 1.3 start to pop up in random places. So for instance, Kim Kardashian's 1.3 fine over crypto promise. Again, Breakfast Club also reported the same. Kim K fined 1.3 million for crypto scam. So I'm like, hey, guys. Remember, if you remember, I mentioned that the queen died on the 8th of September, right? Yeah, yeah and her name is Queen Elizabeth. Then the lady who was um, um, chosen as Prime Minister Liz Truss took office on the 8th of September. To, I mean, uh, the Queen died on the 8th, they met on the 6th, on the 6th. That's when she took office. Oh. But yeah, so remember, her first name isn't Elizabeth, it's Mary. So the Queen's first name is Elizabeth. The Prime Minister, former Prime Minister's first name is Mary. But guess what happened on the 8th of September? What it is? It just so happens to be the birth of the Virgin Mary. So, yeah, so this is from my crazy mind. What if, because think of this, Queen Elizabeth ruled for 70 years. She's the longest uh, serving monarch in British history. And Liz Truss is the shortest serving prime minister. Yeah, she served for, I don't know how long, 50 days or, or something of yeah. that nature. So, what if the queen, Queen Elizabeth, died, but her spirit was transferred? Transhumanism talk, if you don't know what that is. It's coming up, ask Elon Musk. <laughs> what if her spirit was transferred into another body? Into This is far-fetched, and it might sound like a madman, but just hear me out. Yeah, so how could it be that the day the queen dies is the day that Mary, the Virgin Mary was born. And Mary is also the name of the Prime Minister, who the Queen, two days prior, had just co-signed. Hmm. I'll leave that up to your interpretation. Then, as well, uh, another thing that I found interesting was, uh, yeah, um, throw this in there. And they say it so openly, right? Uh -huh. They say, on November 20th, 1947, Elizabeth married her cousin, Lieutenant Philip Mountbatten. Hey, yeah, just cousins. Yeah, they are cousins. Funny enough. Yeah. Even more is that um, her great 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 three greats grandmother was named Queen Charlotte. Queen Charlotte oh. is who um, um, the prince, the one with the bald patch, is it uh, William? And was married to Kate Middleton. Yeah, that's William. yeah William yeah. named his daughter. Princess Charlotte after his four greats grandmother. So Queen Charlotte, Queen Elizabeth's great 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 grandma became the queen on guess what? 8th September 1761. The same day that the queen died is the day her great great grandmother became the queen. And guess what? Queen Charlotte's birthday is on 19th May. 19th, the same day that uh, the same day that the queen was buried. That's the day. So these guys, they are meticulous with numbers. You see what I'm saying? Numbers are like a language. You understand what I'm saying? It's like if a pedestrian who's never driven a car, has never read the highway code, or knows nothing about driving, is walking down the street and they see um, a road sign saying 40. They're pedestrian. They don't know if 40 means that's the maximum or minimum you should drive. If they see a triangle, it's a language. You have to know what that is about. So that's why these people are so meticulous with the numbers. That's where they leave their clues. And another thing is why uh, people people will ask, oh, but she's, if these guys were doing all these 
treacherous and horrible things, why would they allow it? That goes back to the natural law or the laws of the universe. It's, it's, it's about karmic energy. For these people to successfully screw us and keep us in bondage, they have to tell us what they're doing so that they won't have negative karma. You see, it's like a relationship, a boy-girl or man-woman relationship. If the man from the onset tells the woman, I'll break your heart, even though he's saying he's joking, like, oh, me, I'm a player, me, I'm a player. Then somewhere down the road, he plays her or does something bad to her. He has the right to say, I told you, and you accepted it. I told you who I was. My, is it my Angelo who said, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them. So these people communicate through numbers. You see, they're meticulous with numbers. So um, this um, is lesson two of the masterclass, numbers. So by the way, um, let me read you a bit about um, this same uh, Queen Charlotte. After Queen Charlotte got married, uh, she presided over several kingdoms along with her husband. And one of those, the husband, uh, whatever his name was, King George the something, they're all related. Uh, <laughs> that guy was from, he was said to be from Hanover. You know where that is? In German. Yeah. 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 So the English and the Germans are one, believe it or not. Actually, the Queen actually just changed the Windsors, the royal family of Britain, they only changed their names uh, not more than, not like 50 years ago, I think in the 70s, because people are going to find out they're German, that, that they're rolling with the Alps. So, guess what? Hanover, uh, one of the places that he presided over, just so happens to be the 13th largest city in Germany, out of all numbers. Okay. We feel it, we feel it. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, obviously, I'm just going to insert a lot of um, weird uh, things that pop up here and there, and then you make, uh, you make, you make something out of it yourself. But uh, here's another quote. I'm not on any side, except for the side of truth and freedom. That's the side I'm on. Those are my values. That's what I find important and indispensable in life. I'll take those over being liked any day. Mm. So basically, this was a masterclass, lesson two, entitled Numbers. Um, just to give a summary of the class, um, we noticed that the queen, uh, the number 26, called, uh, was a pattern all around. The day she was born and everything, there's also another pattern that emerged with our friend Hermes the day he was arrested, released from prison the same day he became president. He did the interview with the numbers 15, 19, and 1.3. I'll show you what those numbers mean. You can do your own research and just double check everything I said. I, I, I reiterate, don't take my word for it. Do your own research, just as I did. So I hope this information has helped somebody out there. My aim, people ask me, why do you do this? Why do you, it's my calling, I can't help myself. I've just come to accept that this is what the ancestors sent me to do. I know I may sound like a madman from time to time, but uh, believe me, I'm not. This is all calculated and meticulous. And um, um, here's another quote. It is easier to fool people than it is to convince them that they have been fooled. So this is what I'm doing. I'm coming through entertainment, through cultural stimulation, but I'm planting like knowledge that's going to help you grow as a person and grow spiritually and expand your consciousness. Um, of course, format is out of the way, buy our products, blah, blah, blah. But for, as far as the YouTube page, you don't even have to subscribe. Don't subscribe, just watch this and then one person should learn something. That's what I do this for. So with that being said, uh, my name is Chanda Samba. Uh, tune in to the Sunday coming soon.